Okay, so we are officially beginning our work on the vineyard, which is very exciting. We're gonna start by fencing in the entirety of the front yard, which is great, because then we can let the dogs out here and roam willy-nilly. Then my dad is coming over later today. He's gonna help us chop down some trees so that we can make room for the vineyard. We got four trees that we have to take down. So the unfortunate thing about all of this is that there's a decent amount of mental math. We're doing 12 feet between each post, which actually doesn't mean that there's much mental math, but I'm just very bad at mental math. Never scare me. The ground is so incredibly soft. I literally put a stake in the wrong place and just pulled it out, which is convenient and potentially concerning. I'm looking for the kerf, which is the opening that the blade is cutting. And I'm looking for that to widen. As soon as it widens up, you can start to see. Now the, the whole weight of the tree is pulling it. And we opened up this spot to give it a place to fold. And then this is actually like a hinge. And then it just breaks away. Single-handedly. <laughs> wow, my heart is racing right now. I know, it's awesome. Good. Yeah, just get it out of the way. That was so manly. Thanks. How far do you think you could throw it? Super. Do it. Yeah, of course. Come on, at least get it to your shoulder. This is like proper strongman stuff, really awkward, heavy things in life. Nice. Come on, to your shoulder, to your shoulder. and then probably hopefully be able to start cleaning up the trees. Because I talk to you and you make it very unclear what's happening when you and I are collaborating, let alone like someone who has no idea what our property looks like, 
you know, no idea what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. You, you tend to jump in to the middle of conversations. Like, that's just a Hernowitz thing, I think. It's because you're just kind of moving. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You can't do that because they have no idea what's happening. Just tell them what's going on. Tell them what I just told you. Like, well, not that. Like, John so says I'm terrible at communicating. Today we are taking down this fence so that we can repurpose it on the other side of the yard. Am I doing a great job of explaining? Nailed it. What a plot device that was. Justin, that's very rude. All right, John, say you need a telephone pole. Go! I don't know. Yeah, hold on, let me get this started so I know where my pole's at. So they get these like, probably 15, 20 foot, six by, like six inch diameter um, telephone poles. They're like heavy. They get down there, pick them up like this, right here. And then they like balance them and then they start running with them and then their goal is to flip it so it does one rotation. I don't know if I can do that. two gates just out of curiosity um sarah wanted a person gate really bad and mm. that one's for the tractor. tractor and things and i said they could be the same thing and she said no and sarah gets her way because she's sarah i think we should put something right outside the gate for um parcels mm. you do like a conveyor belt that goes into the house yeah we'll probably get someone other than justin to brainstorm house when we go down <laughs> <laughs> that was that was witty that was quick <laughs> what an other trap Thank you. <laughs> truck. Oh, that? That's oh, yeah. Jeep. Yeah, but it's also a truck. It's a Jeep's truck. I don't think of it that way. Why would they put that on a Jeep? You know? So no one's impressed.